In today's video, we're gonna vlog with a DSLR while driving, but first, I gotta knock this down. Okay, so even though I'm getting super rich off of these vlogs, <laughs> Now, my goal is still to get more into uh, video marketing and production and that sort of thing. But, I see a really cool opportunity in vlogging as a way to convey pretty much any message. So, I've always wanted to be able to mount my DSLR in my car, but I never really got to a point where I was using my camera enough to really do that. So, I went and got the GoPro and I was rocking with that and everything, and I've been loving doing what I'm doing here on this channel so far. But uh, I really want to take it to the next level, so boom! This Fat Gecko triple mount. Uh, this thing is supposed to allow me to mount my DSLR to my car or any other smooth surface, so we are definitely going to be taking this thing out for a spin today, but you know what it is. Business first. So I've been noticing it seemed a little bit too dark in here, so I started messing around with the lights and I noticed that I had this light bulb in, which is cool, but I decided to upgrade to this. Let's see if it makes a bit of a difference. I think that's just a little bit better. So I've been doing a lot of live events lately and um, I decided to go ahead and pick up, of course, Blue Yeti. Um, I got this on an Amazon deal, so I got it a little bit cheaper. Actually, I got it for like 75 bucks. It usually sells for like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but the other one, the, the cheaper one is like 50. So figured I'd go ahead and get this one for 75. You know me, I'm always thinking about resale value. I mentioned before that, uh, you know, the best deal is not necessarily the cheapest product. Sometimes it's the better product at a higher price that is going to sell, that's going to resell for more money. So I picked this up because uh, for what I paid for it, I can probably sell it for. I've been noticing that the audio was cutting out on my live events, and hopefully this solves that. If not, it'll go right back to Amazon. It's brand new. It's just one of those like products where the box has got a little bit of damage to it, and honestly. This box has absolutely no damage to it, so. Ooh, that's buttery. Yeah, there we Drugger. go. Drugger. Drugger. Chili sauce on the panda. Channel ain't be redder than Santa. Ferrari is constant Santana. Drive it like Jewel Santana. Teriyaki. Panda. Bigger play. Panda. Waiting in line, I got manners. I work with them chopsticks like Daniel. Teriyaki. Panda. Orange chicken. Panda. Honey waller. Panda. Express myself. Panda. I know it, I don't need no sample no. I'm a professional, don't need examples no. The sweet fire chicken bananas, bananas. My hand me dancing like hammer I want to run back real quick Two of the things that came up in the uh, in the live Or in the chat That are actually kind of related One I had somebody ask me how much money I'm doing in sales Two, somebody said um, Making resale videos Or eBay videos is boring And Here's the deal, okay? You know, last week I was talking about, you know, should I stop vlog, should I stop vlogging or whatever? But then I had a reality, like I had a reality check, right? I remembered that I didn't start making videos for me. And that, that is why I always encourage people not to make videos about eBay on YouTube. I mean, if you're gonna do it, you know, come into it and say, look, I plan on selling a, a, a guide or I plan on, you know, selling some coaching, whatever you're trying to do, like make it a business, okay? Don't just make YouTube videos for YouTube video sake. If you're doing this business, focus on the business. Everybody gets excited about the numbers and the turning a couple of dollars into more dollars. Nobody gets excited about late nights, shipping and hard work. So never get caught up in results. Focus on the effort. In front of this nice abandoned parking lot, um, we got the fat gecko out. And we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up. Um, I guess this is the unboxing. This thing's rated for 12 pounds. Oh. Okay. So it looks like it's pretty simple. Still trying to figure out what to do with this other arm. Actually, I think you can go ahead and take this off. We're gonna go ahead and take that one off. And then we still have the regular, what's this, quarter inch mount? Wait, hey, hold on. Let me back it off, I didn't clean this window. Cleaning the window is apparently a huge deal, so let's make sure we do that. Ah! Mm. Legs. So we got the camera mounted. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit the record button. 
on the camera. Let's go ahead and All right, we're gonna go ahead, circle the parking lot a little bit, uh, see how it goes, and we're gonna switch to that camera so we can check out the sound, and we'll use this can, uh, this one on monitor, this one will be the actual camera you'll be seeing, and I will go ahead and label everything, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. So this is me, just casually, I'm doing about 10 miles an hour right here in the parking lot. Uh, looks like there is a little bit of give to the camera. Looks like it's bouncing a little bit. I'm up to about 20. There's a couple cops in the parking lot, so I'm not going to do anything super crazy as I planned, but um, it looks like it's definitely holding. You know, one thing that's been kind of a pain for me has been um, taking out the SD cards because I'm using all these different cameras. And it would be nice to have just one SD card for the day or, or two and they're just right there ready to go because uploading footage is like kind of a time suck. Also like correcting the uh, images or whatever, also another pain. So it'll be a little bit easier if everything is coming straight out of the same camera. So I'm doing, so I'm doing 40 right now. We're gonna go ahead and, whoa. That was an evasive maneuver. So I'm on the highway right now. Uh, I'm doing, I'm not gonna stay on. We also wanna check the sound because I don't usually have this microphone. So I'm doing 55 right now. Feels pretty good. And uh, this is probably gonna, that's probably enough for Tess. So I'm switching the location. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and again, check out the audio with it being a little bit further over. I think for my own sanity, uh, it's like the microphone's not fitting. For my own sanity, I'll, I'll just probably mount this with the lens off. Usually I record uh, with a Rode Video Mic Go, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do the onboard audio for the Lumix G7. Um, you guys are gonna see the well, those are the first bumps it's really experienced, but so I'm probably gonna have to switch lenses. That lens is just a little bit long. I might, the way my windshield goes, it, it's preventing me from being able to mount the onboard mic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and talk a little bit. Uh, since I can't put the microphone on, we wanna see what that audio sounds like being that far away. Um, there's a little bit more shake it looks like here at this particular angle. But on the next test, we're gonna go ahead and put it straight away. We're gonna widen out the uh, lens with the 11 to 16 Takina and see what that looks like. It's gonna give us a, dis a different perspective. I'm just cut from a different cloth. And they don't make this fabric no more. That money coming, I'm grabbing it all. Triple beam lean is still balancing raw. Still got the white, Macklemore. Car seat smelling like I just ripped the packaging off. Run down on me in traffic, I'm back in the mall. All right, so it looks like at this angle as well, I'm not gonna be able to go ahead and put the mic on. Because there is that other suction mount, you could probably mount the microphone onto this using one of those uh, little couplers uh, for the hot shoe mount, and then you could put it right next to it and you'd probably be able to fit it. But, um, and actually you'd probably get a little bit better audio because then you could put it closer to your mouth. But other than that, I mean, this is it. I mean, this right now is the Tokina 11 to 16. It's mounted right on the dash. Let me go ahead and get the GoPro out so you can see what it looks like. But you see how quick that was? That's why I love the GoPro, like stick it and go. Um, this isn't that, but if you're looking for quality, you really can't beat this. I mean, people are definitely looking at me crazy right now. I definitely feel more secure with it mounted right here. It's not all the way across the truck. Uh, if I need to reach out and grab it for any reason, I can. And I guess this is another onboard audio uh, test, you know, to kind of see what it sounds like. But I mean, you guys see how close my dash is to my uh, my seat, so. And it looks like the battery light just came on, so this is actually going to. As we get closer to 2017, and you guys are sitting down to make those next quarter goals, now is the perfect opportunity to take care of any last minute business expenses. Maybe you need some tape, shelving, or a new printer. Well. The next two weeks is the last chance you're gonna have to claim those as business expenses head into 2017 before you pay your 2016 taxes. I don't know about you guys, but I work way too hard to give all my hard-earned money 
to Uncle Sam. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next vlog.